of all, <laughs> I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm a little weary because I don't know when I'm going to get attacked. But listen to this. You hear it? That's just crazy. I mean, these things have attacked me. They have flown into my face, my head. They've chased me around all day. The other night, one followed me to bed. First I heard it, then I saw it, and I got out of my clothes so fast you would have thought I was on fire. But this is all about to end, but not soon enough. It is cicadas going wild, but hey, they're teenagers. They're only 17 years old. It's their day in the sun. There's been a lot of crazy romance in the treetops. The bug guy, University of Maryland entomologist, Dr. Mike Raup, says right now the cicadas are flying everywhere. All the females now have been impregnated. They are now moving to trees to lay their eggs. So they'll be flying from the places where they found their mates to small trees and other vegetation where they will then lay their eggs. Some people say all the activity and noise doesn't bother them. And I got a little baby and sometimes they'll fly into the stroller and get on her, but she doesn't seem to mind. This woman says she traveled 50 miles to experience this part of nature. And the sound is strange, but sort of inviting for me. Because it's like, that's something I don't see in Pennsylvania. So it's really rare for me, so I'm enjoying it actually. But others are not they're done. They just kind of knock into you. They don't seem to get out of your way if you're trying to step on them. And yeah, the most annoying thing is really, I think, just when the sound gets real loud and you kind of can't even walk outside. It's time for them to go back in the ground. They fly into your face. I was working and one flew into my cheek. I had my mask down like this and it got caught in my mask. So yeah. Did you take off running? No, I did like a little jig. <laughs> and I just kept it moving. Over the next few weeks, you will notice them dying out and driveways and sidewalks will resemble a battleground. This is all gonna to begin to settle down now the latter two weeks of June and by the 4th of July, sadly, or maybe happily, uh, the cicadas will be gone for another 17 years. Now, if you thought that it seemed like there are a lot more cicadas this time around, Ralph says, that the population is higher than in 2004. And guess why? He says because the habitat for cicadas in Maryland has improved. And you know what? While you're in the story, flew into my head. You missed it. Reporting live in Mount Washington, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.